Welcome to the ACES High Help and Support series of videos. In this video, we will be discussing how to get started with ACES High. To get started with the game, you first need to examine your computer and its hardware specifications just to be sure your computer can run the game. The simplest method to determine if your computer meets the game's minimum requirements is to run DXDiag. To do this, exit all applications and get to your Windows desktop. Access the Start button and select Run from the pop-up menu. For Windows Vista or Windows 7, you may need to right-click on the Start menu bar and select Properties, then select the Start menu tab and press the Customize button so you can enable the Run menu option. For Windows 8, you can open the Run command by pointing to the lower left corner of your display, right-clicking the preview, and then clicking Run. In the Run dialog box, type in DX DI, AG, and press the Enter key. When the program starts, it may ask if you want to check to see if the drivers are all fully qualified. You do not need to do this. If you do, it will slow down the utility. A progress indicator will appear in the lower left-hand corner of the utility as it searches your computer for all its available devices which can be used with DirectX. Once it disappears, the data is ready to be viewed. Click on the Display tab. You want to make sure the name of the video card driver does not contain VGA in it. If it does, then you do not have the native video card drivers installed. You will need to do this before you can run any DirectX application. Check the Sound tab and make sure DirectX sees a sound card in the computer. If DXDiag sees the native video card and recognizes the sound card, you have the basic minimums to start a DirectX application. So let's get on with it. Next step is to download the game from our web page. You will need to open up your favorite browser and go to www.flyacesHigh.com. Once the page is open, move your cursor over the Downloads menu item. Another menu will open up. From that menu, click on the game. On that page, you will see some information about the game, such as the current version, date of that release, and the size of that release. There are two links you can use to download the game. It does not matter which one you use, simply click on one to start the download process. Please note, the file you are downloading is the game installation file. The download itself does not actually install anything. Depending on what browser you are using, a dialog will open which is asking you what you want to do. You will want to save the file on your local computer. You can save it anywhere, but you will need to remember where it is saved. It might take a bit of time to download, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once the download is complete, you can now run the file to do the actual game installation. Once the installer has completed, you can remove the installation program you downloaded. It is no longer needed. During the installation, if you allow the installer to place an Aces High icon on your desktop, you can now open the game from there. When you first start Aces High, the game will create settings based on the computer hardware. Sometimes these settings will not be the best for your hardware, as some hardware will claim to be able to support something, but it cannot do it in real time, so you may have to make some adjustments in order to exact the best game performance from Aces High. For now, you have completed the basic installation of the game and are ready to move on to configuring the game. There are several configuration videos available. We would suggest starting with the video configuration next. Thank you and have a blast.